Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wait, don't eat it, don't eat it, don't eat it, don't eat it, don't eat it. Oh, oh. Hi, my name is Owie, and today I will be selecting a date based off of their pet. I moved out to the U.S. when I was four, and I've been here ever since. A year after I immigrated here, uh, I got a dog. Her name is Fairy. I've had Fairy for about 20 years now, and so at this point, she's just family. She's not even a pet. I think pets and their caretakers kind of go hand in hand, like they feed off the energies of each other. The more energy a pet has, for example, I would assume their caretaker is like, has just as much energy. All right, I am ready to meet the pets. Oh, it's bunnies. Oh, cool. Hi. Hi, I'm Vi, and this is Tony, and this is Braxton, my pet rabbits. I had Tony for five years now, and then he just fell in love with Braxton in June, so I've had her for two months now. Rabbits are actually the most misunderstood pets. Since they don't bark or meow, you always have to be paying attention to their body language. I think the rabbits kind of represent me with both of their personalities. When Tony first met Braxton, he was so shy and freaking out, and then she was just all over him. And I think I'm a little bit of both, because at first I can be kind of shy, but then when I'm open up, I'm like, that's my man. <laughs> These bunnies are my number one. So when I'm looking for someone to date, I'm making sure that they don't have a hay allergy and that they're treating them as well as I am. I don't know what to do with like bunnies. I hope he's not scared. Are bunnies like this big usually? Everyone always says that. Everyone's always surprised how big bunnies are. Yo, this one has red eyes. It's crazy. <laughs> that is not how you pick up a bunny. Hi, I'm Tony, and this is my bun wife, Braxton. As you can tell from our names, we're big music lovers. Our favorite activities are going on walks to the beach and cuddling while watching TV. Whoa! Wow, Tony seems to like him. He doesn't always like guys. I was in my mom's life for five years until one day she realized I needed to go from bachelor to husband and Braxton and I have been inseparable ever since. We hope our mom will find love as true as ours. You know like those type of people that are like really into Harry Potter? I feel like that's the type of person that would have rabbits. Um, Harry Potter's all right. I like watching the movies. So apparently, I can give these bunnies bananas. I'll give that a shot. Want a banana? Sure. Okay. I, okay, I'm sorry, I need a banana. Yo! Oh, he's straight munching. Tony loves treats. That's like his favorite thing. Do you want a banana? No? They're all gone now, so I don't know what's going on. They would be totally freaked out if they didn't like him, so they're just excited. It's a good sign, actually. Braxton! <laughs> Tony, where'd you go? I'm gonna go around. Hi. Oh. No, come back. <laughs> oh no, they're too excited. <laughs> Tony and Braxton are very independent. I feel like whoever's the owner is probably really independent and stuff like that. He said that I'm probably really independent because they're independent, which I like. Well, it was great meeting you guys. It was my first experience like petting bunnies. Wow, you are fluffy. Like you got some gnarly ways. Hi, I'm Carolina, and this is my baby, Leo. I've had him for nine months. So Leo is a little crazy, but he's a good time. He is always stealing my stuff. Um, he's always getting into trouble. I think it's just, you know, growing pains. I think if The Bachelor meets Leo, he might think I'm insane because he is nonstop, just energy 24 seven. But that's not too far from who I am, so. I feel 100% confident putting my love life into his little paws. I think my dog is a great reflection of me, so if anyone picks him, then I would be flattered to go on this date. Hi. Kind of energetic. I don't think he's as excited to meet Leo as I would have anticipated. Hi, I'm Leo. I may seem very sweet, but my real intention is to steal your socks and your heart. I love a good tug of war, and of course, I'm the life of the party wherever I go, like my mom. I require lots of attention, but I promise at least with us, it's never boring. Very fluffy, but doesn't jump on me, so that's kind of cool, in a way. Yeah, Leo's being surprisingly chill around him. It has his mind of its own, just doing its own thing now. Kind of got bored of me, so. Yeah, Leo's not interested. Does your mom have hair like you. You don't know? Okay. I wish my hair was like Leo's. Sit. Leo, sit. Okay. Leo does not care. He knows how to sit. Wow, she's like very calm. He is so chill. I don't get it. 
he looks very well groomed. I mean, like you have to be well groomed in order to keep this like cool wave thing going on. He's very friendly, so I'm assuming the the mom is very friendly as well. Yeah, that I am. Like I would see the owner being more of like going out on hikes a lot, very active. I don't go hiking too often. I have a bad knee. Wow, it's adorable. It's biting his tail. So now they're starting to bond a little. I think we made a good connection though. I don't know if he necessarily likes me, but I kind of like him, he's cool. No, you don't like this? Okay. He's a very cool dog, I like him a lot. I'm not as cool as Leo, for sure. Leo, it was nice meeting you, bye. So, I met three different animals today of two different owners. On one corner, we had Tony and Braxton, the two bunnies. One didn't really like me that much, but the other one kept eating the banana, Tony. Tony was cool. Hey, I can teach him a little bit about how to interact with the rabbits. In the other corner, there was Leo, the dog. He was mellow, but had a little bit of like a spunk to him. Cool dog, indeed. I assume the Tony Braxton caretaker is really into books. Leo's owner's probably, I'm assuming, the more energetic one out of the two. Okay, I've made my decision. The pet owner that I will be meeting with is... Oh my God, come on, tell me. <sighs> okay. I'll go with... I'll go with Leo because of, you know, the hair, the overall like chilled out vibe, but also has like a little bit of like energy to him. I'm excited to meet Leo's owner and see if uh, my theory checks out. I'm excited to meet The Bachelor. Whoever I date has to love my bunnies and since he doesn't, it's not meant to be. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Carolina, nice Hi. to meet you. Owie, nice to meet you. I know I'm not as cute as my dog, but you know, I, I hope mean... I'm not too disappointing. <laughs> so Leo is cool, like that's a the really coolest. chill. Yeah, it's like a very chill out like. Dog. But he's I not chill. Wait, so I think he's just matching your here. energy. Oh. If we go on a date, that means like he's gonna be like even more energetic? Then? Probably. I don't oh. know if he can keep up. Uh, we'll see about that. So, do you wanna go on a date? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do it. We are done with the first date. How would you say it went? Went pretty well. I think my theory about the dogs and uh, their owners kind of worked. I think, yeah. yeah. I think you got my energy right. I don't think you, you read Leo. We'll see what happens.